If you'd like to learn more about Running Wild Conservation and their great efforts in saving the cheetah, check out their webpage at www.runningwildconservation.org. In the description field, you'll find more information how to contact, volunteer, and donate to this great cause. Soon, they'll have a new and improved location for their project, northwest of Johannesburg. It's a place of their dreams and these cheetahs to be raised, rewilded, and released into the wild. We all know dogs love a good car ride. But what about house cats? If they come away with a positive experience from a car ride, any animal will enjoy it. Like these two, Skylar and Zara, two six-month-old cheetah cubs. We were on our way to an enrichment walk and training hunt inside a large game range. I recently volunteered at Running Wild Conservation in South Africa and got the privilege to see firsthand how captive cheetah cubs are prepared for a future release into the wild. From birth to beyond, instincts express themselves for survival's sake, whether these predators are captive or wild. Skylar and Zara go hunting for wild rabbits. But first, you have to transport them safely from their enclosures to the game range. But let me back up first. Six months ago. The other privilege was their mother, Shadow, trusting me with her cubs. I've known Shadow for a while and was introduced to her cubs six months ago when I last volunteered. That level of trust allows essential care and training for these cubs' future release. Training for captive cheetah cub release starts early. Skylar and Zara are about two months old in these clips. Play is an essential part of a cheetah cub's development, and it's used as part of a training program. As in this instance, where a natural rabbit hide is used. It was found in one of the cheetah camps. No doubt an untimely end for the rabbit, who wandered into a cheetah enclosure. The hide becomes a great training and hunting tool for the cubs. For cheetahs in the wild, wild hares are certainly on the menu and a good source of food. Even Shadow, the mom, likes getting involved. Look at Shadow. Look at her. Six months passed before I returned. Skylar and Zara were a lot bigger, and much more capable. They'd spent many days exploring and hunting since I left. At eight months old, they're already faster than all land-based predators, and most land-based prey. Their mother doesn't participate in these enrichment walks. The reason is there are antelope on this game range that don't belong to running wild conservation. Shadow is a capable hunter and will kill them. Nothing like an old tractor tire to sharpen the claws. But that's not what we're looking for. We're hunting for wabbits. There are wild hares that live on this farm. And that's what we and the cheetahs were trying to flush out. What I like about this hunt is there's a fair chance of success between predator and prey. This game range is large enough for full speed chasing and avoidance. It's also enclosed with a fence where the hare can escape. Rabbit! Look at it go. Almost. The chase is on.
running for the for the rabbit. That's two and O oh in favor of the rabbit. The hunting success rate for adult wild cheetahs is about 60%. After some hunting training and great exercise, it's time to go home. So, how do you get free roaming off lead cheetah cubs to follow you after hunting wabbits? Very, very carefully. <laughs> All right, my Elmer Fudd impersonation needs some work. <laughs> nice dive. Who's a cheetah? And you. Cheetah. See? You. Back your cups. Like a school bus full of kids. Okay. Chasing rabbits always builds up a thirst. Please check out runningwildconservation.org and consider volunteering or donating to this special cause, a breeding project to save an endangered species, the cheetah. It's a difficult time chasing those rabbits. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Oh, that was fun. If you like this video, please share it and give it a thumbs up. And consider joining my channel. Join my coalition.